Hi everyone, it's Jojo. Today I want to show you how to make another flower out of um, my fabric that I have received from Tamu. I'm an influencer for Tamu and I absolutely love, um, I love this fabric. I think it is so pretty. My only issue that I have, and it's my fault, I am not a fan of polka dots or stripes, which everybody knows. So I'm using up polka dots and stripes just so I can use up my stash. Um, so today I think I'm going to go with this. Hmm, let's see. Do we want... I keep going for pink. Um, how about this blue checks? Or, maybe we'll do a blue and red check. How's that? Blue and red check. We will make these into a flower. So, I'm going to line my pieces up. Flip my board over. And I'm going to put these on here and... They're not straight. They don't have to be perfectly straight, but I'm just going to, where's my ruler? I'm just going to straighten this out just a little bit. It's just enough to irritate me, and they don't have to be. You know, I'm not going to. I'm just going to come here and put this on my half mark. And I'm going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to take these two pieces and put them together. And I'm going to come on here and put them on my board. Don't have to be perfect because we're going to cut them into circles. And I'm cut these in half. Okay, always make sure to close your rotary cutter so you don't cut yourself. Now I need a circle. Let's see. I have circles right here. So let me grab my handy dandy one and a half inch circle punch. I'm cheating, okay? However, you don't have to do that. You could use the bottom of your glue bottle, you know, anything you want to to make a little template to cut a circle. I want to make sure that this goes through all my pieces. <clears throat> Get out my scissors and I'm just going to roughly cut around this. Does not have to be perfect. So there I have some rough cut circles. Throw my scraps aside. I have a little bag that I'm saving them in um, and my strings that I have left over. And I'm going to show you a little project so we use those up. So now I'm going to lay my circles out here. Every other one. And the way I cut them, then they should come out that way. I'm going to have a total of eight circles. So for this one, I'm going to pick up a circle and I'm going to fold it in half. 
and then I'm going to fold this one up halfway. That's halfway. And I'm going to fold this one over halfway. And then I'm going to turn it upside down because it looks like an ice cream cone. Turn it upside down and down here by the point. Not right straight on the point. Let's see if I can get the paper so this will focus. But I'm going to go about right here. Through each one. And I want to make sure I get the front and the back. And then we're going to pull this down our length of thread and lay it lay it down. I'm going to pick up a blue one, fold it in half, flip this end up to the middle, and this one over to the middle. So it should look like your little ice cream cone. Flip it upside down and go through both sides right by the tip. Then I'm going to lay it on top. Grab my next circle. Flip this one up and this one over. Flip it upside down and go through there. Now we're going to do this for each, each piece of fabric. The more you do this, the quicker it'll become to I have just um, started playing with all my scrap fabrics because I have lots of different fabrics that I'm just not a fan of and some of them don't look vintage enough um, but I don't want to throw them away and I really can't afford to just go out and buy new fabric fabrics gotten expensive um, except for this on Tamu this was really really reasonable um, the link will be below so that way you can go and buy some if you'd like. If you use my code then I get um, I get a small, very small commission but um, to me it's worth it. That way I can buy some more stuff so I can do videos here for the channel. That way we can build it and learn new things together. I really like um, really like trying to teach new things and I have other flower ideas that I'm going to come on and show and I love these little flowers for my books some of them can look um, you know really fancy and shabby chic others look kind of grungy and I mean you can even get with some of the colors and different ways that you do it um, you can get them for different themes. This one here is just kind of reminded me of, you know, 4th of July is coming up soon. So now that I have these all on here, I want to make sure that my cones are all going the same way. Like this. I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to come over here to this first cone that we went into. I'm going to go in by my knot and I'm going to come out in the little gap. Just pull this through and I'm going to kind of pull it tight and let go and pull it all. I'm going to kind of hold it in the middle but I want to pull this all together and I'm going to, I always um, take it and wrap my thread around my finger but make sure it's really tight that's why I use a postry thread is I pull on it um, but I'm going to just go back in here and 
work this around a couple times so I have a knot. I don't want my threads coming out if I can help it. Now there I kind of, kind of, there we go. So let's see. Okay, that's good enough, I hope. <laughs> I hope. If it's going to mess up, it's going to do it here on camera. Get my needle and thread out of the way. So now I'm going to find the center of this. And I'm just going to kind of manipulate my, um, my little cones to lay them down a little bit. And when I get it kind of how I want it, I'm going to flip this upside down. It's because the back, once you use this wire brush, you just um, mess the back up. Now, I'm just going to fray my edges really good. One thing about this brush, don't look away or pay attention to something else. Because if you stab your finger, it hurts. <laughs> um yeah it's happened i've done mine quite a few times so i just um i'm gonna lift that one up so i can get this blue one but yeah these bristles are strong and they do hurt I just really like the frayed edges. You don't have to do this. This is just me. The more frayed it looks, the better I like it. And this fabric is not always, um, you know, sometimes you get it and it's really easy to fray. Other times it's not. It just depends on, um, the way it's laying, the way it was cut. I like to flip it upside down and do the back side too. Just my preference. Um, not something you have to do. You'll see me do a lot of um, videos with this little brush. I love, I love it. Okay, I think that's good enough. Those out. Mess with that in a little while. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to trim what won't pull out. A lot of times I don't like to pull it out because it pulls my phrase out. But there we go. Now for this one, I need a piece of bling. You don't have to use bling. I mean, you could use a button in these or whatever you want. Um, I just, um, I just like bling. Just me. I use um, Fabri-Tac glue on these too, but you can use um, some just some good strong glue will work. Don't be like me and use too much. Just hold it for a second. Um, I have used hot glue on these. But make sure that if you do, you use the kind that dries clear. So, see, isn't that cute? And then you can just, once it's all dry, you can fluff it up more. 
when you get ready to use it these kind of fluff I got glue on my fingers so they're not wanting to fluff so well um, they're sticking <laughs> but there we go isn't that cute look great on a book page or the uh, cover of a journal and I think that um, using two colors you can't really I mean yeah you can see the checks in there but it does not look it doesn't look like the fabric that I use isn't that cute these would be great on dolls or um, doll clothes I mean um, your junk journals just however you want to use them but this fabric is pretty awesome I really like it cheaper than um, to me it's kind of cheaper than what you get around here and it's just as nice so if you like this video please click like and subscribe and um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy these little flowers and I'll be back soon with another tutorial thank you so much have a great day be kind to one another. Bye-bye.